clever one. Yamaha is through a 250, an entry level motorcycle from the Yamaha tuning fork camp. Its characteristic is its retro appearance and a simple, durable, air cooled engine suitable for adventurers with a small budget. But over time, this model was removed from production until now. There's information that suggests the possibility that this motorbike model will return again. Yamaha Saro was launched in 1985 with an air-cooled single cylinder. With a cylinder volume of 225 cc, but gradually expanded to 250 cc before releasing the final edition model and stopping production in 2020. But recently, Yamaha executives came out to discuss the possibility of bringing back important models from the past company. For using currently available motor bases, this is a market that is becoming popular among other motor manufacturers for the first possibility. You don't need to look far. Yeah. Amaha will use the F25 as its base, a naked sports bike sold in India. It still uses the same engine as uh, Sarah 250, but has added an oil cooling system in order to be able to pass India's B6 exhaust standard equivalent to Euro 5. It provides a maximum power of 20.8 PS, which is 20 PS more than the original engine. Another possibility is to use another engine placed in the WR1055, our water-cooled single cylinder. The cylinder size is 155 cc, the same as that used on the R15 and MT15. You can choose to have a VVA variable valve system or not. This is considered another option that focuses more on modern technology. However, the engine capacity must be reduced. In terms of strength, it is not a problem. The reason is that this engine is capable of producing horsepower up to 19. Maybe take the the Roan 155 and retrofit the design, it should be enough for the camp to be able to make a, another bike to sell as the Serra 155 WE, which should follow the trend of retro road going bikes, which is quite interesting. Uh, so that's a review for today. See you in the next video.